Let's talk about two guys to start with them. Let's talk about Morty Strider. This guy, when he dies, he gets back into your hand, which is way better than the dude that died and went back to the top of your deck. People, a lot of people played that against me, thought it was good. I was like, yeah, I'm just going to have you keep drawing him while I bash you about the face and arms. It was bad. They were sad. I was happy. So it worked out well for me. This guy's better because he jumps into your hand. He's a three drop one one. You can't kill him. He's a one one, but you can't kill him. He's not bad. He's common. He's good for common. I like that. Mystic Genesis, you counter target spell. These have been around for a long time. I like this one. I liked my 1-1 one, one flying phantasm guy a lot better. It got plus X plus X, you know, where X was the spell's converted mana cost. They're pretty much just giving... They gave me everything I wanted out of Simic except, except uh, a new uh, Ether Mutation. They didn't give me Ether Mutation, which I was... I was kind of looking for a new one of those. They gave me Pongify, and they called it something else. I'm going to say Pongify. I'm going to confuse new players and be a dick because it's Pongify to me. Like, I don't care. It'll always be... Um, I'm going to bring my freaking monkey tokens. No one is stopping me. I'll be like, no, use this. Use this. Nimbus Swimmer. This guy swims around. He's flying. He enters the battlefield with X plus one plus one counters on it. That's pretty good, you know. He's, he's flapping around. He's he's kind of he's kind of a beater, to be honest with you. Because you could drop him, he could be like you could always make it just a little bit more than what they can deal with. He's six for a four four flying. It's pretty good and limited. You're probably gonna get a hold of him quite often. He's also gonna be able to just block flyers if you need him to. So for you know, for four mana, he's gonna be a two two. He can probably block and kill something that's giving you some trouble. So I like it. That's not a problem. The Ghost Council. Look at him standing there being all shimmering see-through. I love this card, actually. I love how cool it is. It's just so flavorful. It's like... That tastes like a uh, Ghost Council. A spirit advisor, if you will. I love it. I like the art. It's pretty sick. Um, that one dude right there, though, behind the Grim Reaper-looking guy, he looks like a wombat or something. He looks real dumb, but whatever. It's five mana. You drop a 5-5. Five five. You put this guy on the field. Your opponent, you look at your opponent, and you say, hey, that's two damage. Take two. And then you look at your life counter, and you go, ka -pa -pa -boo. I go up two. And then you just look at him, and you're like, guess what? That's going to happen a lot. You better get your removal ready, bud. And it better not be that weak-ass shit that deals four damage to something, because that's not going to do it. Uh, plus, it gets haste. I love this card. I want to be this card's, you know, significant other. Why do they reprint cards that I liked but just make them cost more? Didn't Pillory? Pillory costs three, right, you guys? Right? Pillory is the same card. Pillory of the Sleepless is three mana. It's not four mana unless I'm completely off base and I just refuse to check facts, much like I did with uh, Lazav. But that card's cool. Um, but I just refuse to check my, my work, I guess, but I don't know. This makes me sad. This makes me sadder than anything else. Cause it costs four. It's still awesome. It's so good. It's so good. I played, I played, uh, fetters, face fetters before. Like, I don't care if it's a removal spell. I will play it. It's a removal spell and it deals damage. I love it. Don't get me wrong. Thank you for printing it. But you could have just called it pillory plus one pillory plus one. That would have been fine. I would have, I would have loved that. That would have been funny. I wouldn't have cared about the increase in cost. I would have just been like, that's funny. Ordrun. He's a veteran. Uh, you know, he worked for Gruul. His dad worked for Gruul. Um, but he decided to join the Legion because uh, he likes to wipe his blades. That was really the difference. It was terrible in his family, in his household. They were always fighting with each other because he was always wiping blades down. And it was a bad time. It was a very bad time. Whenever he attacks with two buddies, he's going to gain double strike. That's sick. That's sick. I like it a lot. I love cards with double strike. He has a 3-1, and he doesn't have first strike the other amount of the time, so I'm not super in love with that. But uh, this is pretty good for an uncommon. I don't hate him. He's a dude. Put him into play. Orzhov Charm. You get to choose one of the following many words. Return target creature you control, and all the auras you control attach to it. To their owner's hands, or destroy target creature and lose life equal to its toughness, or return target creature card with converted mana cost one or less from graveyard to the battlefield. I like killing stuff. I don't like losing life. I don't like losing life. <laughs> it's it's definitely not swords to plouches, um, but it's it's good. It's got two tricks that I would use out of it. I don't hate it. It's, it's fun. It's shiny. Look at it. Ooh, shiny. 
paranoid delusions that guy is not paranoid and not delusional there's very obviously something getting him right there like that is not good if there's a huge cloud behind you and it shoots into your eyeballs that's not good watch supernatural that's bad that has bad day written all over it just no it's a bad time target player puts the top three cards of his or her library in to his or her graveyard it's a two drop and it's got cypher which means that what you should do is you should have a guy out that they cannot block. Be that with flying or unblockable or something. You should be like, I shall paranoid delusion you on my first main. And now I should cipher it on to my evasion guy. And you shall get rid of six cards for two mana. That's not bad. We've had better mill cards, but that's fun. And it's ciphered onto your dude now. So you might get multiple uses out of it. I don't know. I think milling's kind of a threat and limited. Uh, in, in at least now, right now, I, I think it's going to be a little trickery dickery doc. A chant creature gets plus three, plus three and gains haste. It costs a lot. I don't like it. Costs five. Why? Okay, so wait, for haste to even make a difference, for haste to even make a difference, I have to have like a thousand mana because it costs five. So I have to play a dude that's probably like four mana, and then I have to play this, he gets three, three in haste. And then I don't have any more mana to play any of my Blood Rush abilities. Get rid of this card. If you're in Gruul, you don't want to have this card. You want to have a creature with a Blood Rush ability instead. That's what I think about that. Prime Speaker Topanga. Uh, this card, it's going to enter the battlefield with X plus one plus one counters on it. X is going to be the greatest power among other creatures you control. So you're going to figure out. You got to do a little bit of math. You got to be like three. That's bigger than two, but it's less than four. It's a little tricky. It's a little tricky. I don't like it. It costs a lot, too. Uh, two, two, two. So it's six for a one, one. It's going to probably come down, I think, four. A lot of times is going to be your sweet spot when you're laying this guy on turn six. So I think it's going to come down as a five, five. And you're going to draw four cards. I don't hate that. I don't hate that. It's, it's, it's not great. It's mythic. I don't know if it's mythic. Um, it's, it's good. I like it. You know, you're going to I, I think that the majority of the time you're going to draw four cards, get a five, five. That's going to be your day. You're going to, you're going to go, how do you do princess? I shall have your tea by high noon. Psychic strike. That card art is nuts. What is he doing? It's like putting, he's got like a Kraken Maw in his chest. That looks painful. Your counter target spell. It's controller puts the top two cards in his or library into his or graveyard. That's fun. You know, it's a three. It's count it's counter spell. It's not counter spell. This counter spell is cheaper. It is cancel just with the black and with milling. That's nice. I like cancel. Man, eh, hey. Hey, you're not playing that. I love saying that. It's funny. You'd be like, nope. <laughs> Target opponent discards two cards and you gain two life for four. That's terrible. I hate it. I hate it. Used to be you got a 2-2 flyer when you spent that much uh, mana. When, when you bent over and spread to the tune of four mana, you, you used to get a freaking 2-2 flyer lose life. Plus, discards cards. I, I mean, I guess that's why it's more and I don't have at least a 1-1 one, one flyer out of it. I don't know. I don't want two life. I don't want them discarding cards. I don't care. I don't, I don't like that one. Four drop though, uh, no, I really don't. I don't like it. It's too, it's not gonna win you the game, man. I, I need damage them. I need to do damage. We're going back to this card. We're coming back because I need to do damage. That's not winning the game for me. It's discarding cards. I do like card discard though. Discard the cards. Ruination Worm, that is way better than Armada Worm as far as art goes. That thing looks badass, but it's so boring. It's vanilla, but it's huge. So we'll probably make the cut. I'll probably play him. He's not bad. Six six drop, seven six? I don't care. That's pretty good. It's pretty good and limited, you guys. It'll kill stuff. Rumble Hulk. Three. You got to watch people. If they have green, red, and they have three up, you got to be scared of this Blood Rush. Because there are a lot of three up cards that are just going to just gonna make your day sad. Pretend you didn't see those cards. Signal the clans. Oh, what I do? I started on the right this time. Search the library for three creature cards. You reveal them. If you reveal three cards with different names, you choose one of them at random, and you put that card in your hand. This is actually really good and limited. Uh, it's good if you like build a deck around it too, but it's really good and limited because you probably don't have a lot of copies of the same card. 
So you get to just pretty much put an awesome card into your hand. So I love it. It's good. I want more of it. This guy's Flash. I like Flash. Flash. Ah, that's good. It's good stuff. He's got Evolve. Plus, he's funny. That's just silly. Ah, he's a fish crab. Simic Charm. Target creature gets plus three, plus three until end of turn. Or permanency control gain Hexproof, which doesn't matter anymore until end of turn. Or I'm just really hard on Hexproof now. It just made me really sad. Or return target creature card to its owner hand. That's not bad. Plus three, plus three. That's fun. Uh, return creature to its owner's hand. That's fun at instant speed. And creature control gain Hexproof. Also fun at instant speed. Don't try and use this if they're using a board wiper on you, though, because it doesn't target. Um, but that's not really in this set too much. There's only like one board wiper and it's the, the card that's not damnation. So I don't really care. Skarg guild, mage, Skarg guild mage. This little pirate buddy. Uh, he's going to give your creatures trample. That's pretty good. That's pretty good for two mana. Two mana. He's going to give your creatures trample. Once upon a time, your creature had to be blocked in order for a guild mage to give him trample. That wasn't even the guild mage. Actually, now that I think about it, the guild mage... Um, for Gruul was sh not great because both visibilities cost four. This guy is, is pretty fun. I'll, I like it. I'll give you a 4-4 four, four elemental creature until end of turn. Still land. You can still tap it down for land if you need to. Uh, but he's also, is that like, is that what's in the background? I don't know. I got really close to the mic right there. But he's going to give you creatures trample. I was just saying that they used to get plus one in the front and trample for the same price, but from a different guy. So. Flying Haste, this guy, hey, he's smaller. He's smaller than I remember him, and the card art's really weird. It is really, really weird. I can't be the only person who thinks that is odd and creepy. Uh, not as good as he used to be, still better than he should be. Three drop, two, two. Hasten on in to punch people in the face. Hasten to the face. Soul Ransom, I actually love this card. It makes me happy. Uh, it's the discard, which I bagged on earlier. Uh, when I was talking about Bloodhunter Bat's brother, discard and McGain some life. But I, that card is going to wreck me, and I'm going to look like a douchebag. Like, I'm going to be sitting there, they're going to play it, and whoever I'm playing against doesn't watch this, I guarantee it. And I'm going to secretly, inwardly be like, I'm an asshole. But, I don't know, I don't like that one as much as I like this one. You get control of Enchanted Creature, they either have to kill their own dude, they have to get rid of Soul Ransom somehow, or they have to discard cards, and you get to draw two cards. I love this thing. I love it. I think it's funny, and the card art is bad ass. Spark Troopa. Sparkman over here, he's got Trample, Lifelink, and Haste. I love all of those things. He's a 6-1, and you sacrifice him at the end of your uh, instep, so it doesn't matter. He's 4-mana... Just blast of energy shooting to people's faces. I love cards like this. Uh, if you watch any of my other, you know, playthroughs of decks and deck building, I love cards like this. I love this guy. He's great. Uh, Guild Mage over here. Creatures you control get plus one, plus zero until end of turn. Put a dude out on the field. That's that's pretty good. That's marginally good. I don't know. Your creature's probably still going to die, but you're going to take somebody down with you. It's just that I don't like telegraphing pumps, and I don't like spending three friggin' mana to give a creature plus one, plus zero. Oh? What? But whatever, you can put some people out too. Treasury, Thrall, he's got Extort. And uh, whenever he attacks, so not even when he deals damage, just when he attacks, you return target something or another to your hand. So I like this guy. I think he's, I think he's really good and limited, actually. Next, we've got Troop Fire Paladin. This guy's got Vigilance, which I love. 2-2, two, two, if this guy had first strike, he would be, what? You can give him first strike? I love this guy. That's great. Vigilance, first strike. Uh, we used to only get those guys if they were two ones. So now I'm, I'm pretty happy with that guy. He's fun. Can we? I think we can just get through all these. Why not? Let's try. Let's fly to the sun, my friends, on wings made of cards. Unexpected results. Shuffle your library, then reveal the top card. If it's a non-land card, you can cast it without paying the mana cost. Just be like, pow, I'm on land drop four, but I'm playing a five drop. Ooh, anticlimactic. I should have gone higher. I don't know why I didn't. If it's not, though, if it's a land card, you can put the land card onto the battlefield, and then this son of a gun back into your hand. That's fun. I love cards like this. I said earlier in one of my other videos that I don't like cards where I don't know the outcome, but I like cards where I don't know the outcome, but both outcomes are awesome. Uh, I, I like that. I really like this card. That's fun. Draw three cards. You may play an additional land this turn. Uh, I like this, to be honest with you, because you're going to get, you're going to 
go through your pile. You're going to get three cards in your hand, and you get to get rid of two lands so that your hand is awesome cards. It costs five, which is a lot, but I like it still. Um, I don't think I'd ever play it because I like to be really removal heavy, uh, but I, I could. I could be convinced. Depends on what I opened. This Copa Confessa. This guy's got extort, and when he enters the battlefield, you pay any amount of life. Pick pick a number. Don't pick 20. That's going to be my my tip. Or 19. Want Be lower than that. Lower than that. Probably don't want to go over 7. Nah, your opponent, they got to show you that many cards, and then you choose one of them and you exile it. You're like, that one, get out of here. It's okay. He's a five drop, so you probably only need to pay one or two life to get to see your entire opponent's hand and get rid of a card that you like. I like that. He's a one three. He's got extort. He's not bad. I wish he was a one four. I wish he was a one four. I just wish he had a little bit bigger ass because then I could play him and I could feel really good about playing him because he'd be blocking. But at five, he's just going to chump block. I don't like that. I, I like stall blockers, but I don't. At turn five, it's not going to happen. This guild mage over here is going to give your creature that you target. It's going to go ahead and hand it lifelink. It's holding lifelink in its hand right there. That's what it looks like. Whenever you gain life this turn, each opponent loses that much life. That's kind of fun. Uh, I mean, it's you know it's pretty much like the Demir one, really, when you get right down to it, except different effects. So, you know, it's fun. I mean, it's exactly like the Demir one when you think about it. The other one's just like mill deal damage how much you mill this is lifelink deal damage how much you gain life so that's fun you got skull cracker though which is kind of a problem for you oh uh, we got whispering madness each player discards his or her hand then draws cards equal to the greatest number of cards a player discarded this way that's fun it's it's kind of mutually assured destruction again so i like it we talked about that i like cards like that kind of but uh i don't like getting rid of my whole hand and so that's kind of a problem that I have with it. The art is just crazy balls nuts, though, so I do like that. Whenever Wojak Halberders and at least two other creatures attack, this guy's going to get first strike. I like that because it's a 2-2, two -two, or it is a 2-drop 3-2. Two -two. So I love that, and I think that guy's pretty good. We've got Zirta Swine. Uh, that guy's got Blood Rush for cheap. This is the first Blood Rush card that really got a lot of people excited. For me, it was the Trample one. And then we've got Zemek. Zemek is Smek. It is Smek. Guild Mage. This turn, each creature you control enters the battlefield with an additional plus one, plus one counter on it. Remove a plus one, plus one counter. And you get to draw a card. I don't like him. I don't, I don't think he's too great. Um... I like drawing cards, but in playing with counters, is obviously their gimmick right here. But, I mean, I'm not in love with that per se. 